so here's the example now of, like I mentioned, we already have our wire buried, but we've got a wire that's coming from one direction, we've got our fixture in between, and then we've got our wire that's gonna go out to our next fixture. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take that wire and we're just gonna cut into it now. And same as always, we're gonna strip approximately an inch off each end. So that's our wire that is gonna go out to our next fixture. And then we have our wire coming into this fixture that we're gonna do the same. Strip the ends off that. And then as you're looking at your your BVS2 connectors, you'll notice that there's three holes, and that's why we're gonna use it for this fixture in between. So you've got your smaller 18 gauge wire coming from your fixture that's gonna go into the smaller port. And you push that all the way in, and then you've got your wire that's coming in from your last light, and you're gonna push that all the way in, and then You've also got your wire now that's going out to your next light. And you're gonna push that all the way in. And then you're gonna snap that down tight. And then you should still have three wires left. You've got your 18 gauge wire from your fixture. You've got your line coming in and you've got your line going out. And again, there is no positive or negative, so it doesn't matter if it's the exact same wire throughout, as long as you've got all three of those wires going into your connection. Snap those tight. Those wires aren't coming out. And now you go and bury those wires and you've got your connections done. things I get asked is how to bury the wire um, in a mulch area like this what I like to do is just you know just with a flat shovel or a rake is just move the mulch or whatever you have back from wherever you want to lay that wire and then I just go around with a flat ended spade and basically just make a cut and just loosen that dirt up and give it a, a good place for the wire to sit and then afterwards tool like this is going to be your best friend. You can find this in any garden section. I don't even know what it's called. Um, a flat ended screwdriver will work well too. Uh, the reason I like this is because it's got the two little prongs that you can help, uh, that helps just push the wire down. And then after I just go and I start pushing that wire down into, into the dirt, and get it nice and deep. Because this is low voltage, you don't have to have it 18 inches or or a foot down. Um, and then the other thing I like to do just to help secure it is every once in a while, um, just a simple landscape stake like this, and just throw it over the wire and hammer it down. And that'll just help that as you're gardening and stuff, if uh, you happen to, uh, to dig it up or catch it with a rake, all that wire is not gonna pull out. It's just gonna help secure it down. showed you how to bury wire uh, in the mulch beds basically the same idea in the grass still using my flat ended shovel uh, I just go around and make a little slip in the grass and just lift that grass up and really you only need to get the wire deep enough so that it doesn't get hit with an aerator or it doesn't get you know cut if you're doing any work and then once I've gone and dug my slit in the grass I just take my wire basically lift up the grass and again push my wire all the way down as deep as I can get it 
and then you stop over it and you can barely even tell we were there. Oh,